Okay, Joanna. I'm going to show you some things to make knitting in the round easier so that you can start making hats. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to show you the cast on method that I showed you when I was in Scotland. Um, so, it's called the long tail cast on. And you need to know how many stitches you're going to cast on to begin with. But let's say it's something like 36, which is what I'm going to cast on here. I'm going to wrap my yarn around here like about approximately 10 times. And then I'll say that's about 10 stitches worth. So then I repeat that length for 20 stitches. Then again, 30. And I'll do 40. You know, you can always do it a little bit extra to make sure that you definitely have enough. Okay, and then this is the place where you want to make the slip knot. Let's just make it a basic slip knot like that. Okay, and you put it on. Here is your circular needle. Okay, two metal ends and the wire joining it. So slip the slip knot on there and just cinch it up so that it's snug against the needle. Okay, now you want to know which end is attached to the ball of yarn and which end is the tail okay and what I like to do is with my two pieces hanging down I'm actually going to turn that around put it on that way I take my index finger and my thumb and I put them in between the two strands of yarn so the strand hanging on this side is the tail end and this one is attached to the ball of yarn so I put my fingers in between both of them like so and then I open those out and I kind of tip my hand back and then you can see that these two pieces should hang down in front and I grab them the rest of my fingers and now I have this V shape here and I take my needle and I go under the first part of the thread on the thumb and over the one on my index finger and then come back through uh, so I've let go and cinch that stitch down not too tightly and then do the same thing again put my fingers back through make that V shape so I'm going under and then over and you've got to make sure you come back through this loop here and then pull it see I've now got three stitches I'll show you that again under and over so you're coming back through this loop that's on your thumb. Okay, let go and cinch it down. Okay, okay. So now I have all my stitches cast on, and I'm going to show you how to join this so that you're knitting in the round. Okay, so in your right hand, you hold the end of the circular needle that has the tail and the piece attached to the ball of yarn, okay, hanging down from there. Now here is a little round stitch marker thing, okay? So I'm going to slip it onto my circular needle and then I am going to join the circle by knitting into this stitch over here. Do you see that? So I go in there and knit just like normal and you have to do this kind of tightly um, to join the round and when you come back around to this stitch it will be a bit loose on the first round but just try to keep the yarn tight especially for this first stitch there are ways of joining the round with a bit of a smoother join but don't worry about that just now uh, so i've knit that first stitch then the second one and i'm just going to knit like normal all the way around these stitches And so I do that until I get back to that first stitch. And if you're making a hat, usually the first few rounds, or the first inch or so of the hat, um, will quite often have a rib for the brim. So you might be doing knit to, purl to. But I'm just going to knit all of these stitches just now. So I am knitting, I am knitting, la 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 la. Ok, 
Okay, and I'm coming up towards the end. And the first, you know, round or two might feel a little bit tight, but that will get easier as you make, if you get into the knitting more. Once more of the hat is done. Okay. So here I am coming back around to my stitch marker. Okay. I'm going to go into here. And then all I have to do is slip the stitch marker off the left needle, pop it back onto the right. Okay. And you can see, you know, it's not it's a little bit loose here, the join. But this next stitch, again, if I do it tightly. So I'm now starting my second round. Okay. So when you're knitting on circular needles, you knit in the round. Um, and on straight needles, or if you're knitting back and forth, then it's referred to as rows. So I just do the same thing again. And I go round and round and round. So if you're making a hat, what you'll do is you'll uh, stay on this circular needle until the hat is probably, you know, five inches or something like that, um, depending on what you're knitting. And then, as you start to decrease for your hat to shape the crown of it, and you get less and less stitches, then obviously they're not going to fit onto the circular needle. So then you'd have to change to double pointed needles. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Obviously,